You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call the sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God have mercy. O God Almighty God. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world. Receive our prayer. You are Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty God. Have mercy on us. For you are Lord of the world. You are the Lord, 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 and an intercession in their needs, grant us with his assistance as we are follow the teaching of Christian Christ. We may know your help in the great trial to, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye and I will follow you. Elijah answered, and go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm, you are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. 
Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Incline my heart, O God, in your decrees, and favor me with your law. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate Saint Anthony of Padua. Saint Anthony was born in Lisbon, Portugal, in 1195. God called him to do something new in his plan, and every time Anthony responded with the renewal yield and self-sacrificing to serve the hit law Jesus more completely. In his journey as a servant of the God, he began as a very young man when he decided to enjoy the Augustinus in Liban and giving up a future wealth and the power to be a servant of God. And probably he became a priest in there. And later, when the bodies of the first Franciscan martyrs went through the Portuguese city when he was stationed, he was again <coughs> to fill with the, an intense longing to be one of those close to Jesus Christ, those who die for the good news. So Anthony entered the Franciscan order and set up to the preach to the mosque. But an illness prevented him from achieving that goal. He went to Italy where he spent the most of time praying, reading the scripture, and recognizing at the great gift of a prayer and the great scriptures and theology scholar. Anthony became the first friar to teach the theology to the other friars. And after he led the fires in northern Italy for three years, he made his headquarters in the city of the Padua, 
he resumed the preaching and began to writing sermon notes and to help all the preachers. He had a reputation for the retrieving laws of object to the careless people. And according to his story, he received the vision of the child of Jesus. And he this white the charges of the Saint Anthony and saw him holding the child. And he died in 1231 in Padua, in North Eastern Italy, and was canonized a year later in 1232, and was declared a doctor of the church in 1947. And like all the saints, Saint Anthony is a perfect example of the turning one life completely over to Christ. The Saint Anthony, whom a popular devotion had a Nominates at the at the fire of the lost objects, found himself be losing himself totally to the providence of God. And today we celebrate the heat feast day. We are come to pray to God and to ask Him to follow the His footsteps and to do the God we are in our life. With hope rooted in faith, we turn to Almighty God with our prayers and petitions. For those discerning priesthood or religious life, may the Holy Spirit strengthen them and give them wisdom in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. For state and federal legislators, May God inspire them in enhancing policies that support human life and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from despair, may God's peace comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. For members of this faith community, may the Holy Spirit fill us with the zeal for evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, may they enjoy eternal life in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for the intention of this afternoon's Mass is for Alice Farrell and for her health. And for your own personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Mercy, good Father. Kindly hear the prayers we bring to you today to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be God. Blessed you, Lord, God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the wife we offer you, food of the divine work of human hands. 
Hit you be come as pure to drink. Pray, my brother and sister, that our chapter and souls may be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. We praise the Lord and the Lord of the Lord. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of the blessed entity, so that as you brought him glory, you may through this secret mystery grant to us your pardon to cry to our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Live up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right. It is truly right our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your sins, you make your church fruitful with a strong avenue, and offer us a sure a sign of your love, and that your saving mystery may be fulfilled, that great example lends us courage, that fair and praise certain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks and exhortation we have prayed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in our eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in our eyes. You are in the Holy, O Lord the Father of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dear fall, so that they may become first the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the tire was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he will be poor for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body of Lord Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gustavo, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Anthony of Padua, St. Peter Julian Paymark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and O Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. At the same command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracefully grant peace in our day, that by the help of mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessing hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, peace and live you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the seed of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase the strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of the blessed Anthony, that we may preserve in the integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you chase for us to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Master and the Queen, peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.